morning, everybody. It is approximately 4.15 in the morning. Um, a little bit late, later than I wanted to be because both racetracks that I went to were closed for short staffing. So I wound up going to a Circle K. I needed ice mainly, but I already see some surface activity. This is the Marco Island Bridge. I've got my fish finder here. We've got a depth of about nine feet right now. I'm just gonna do a couple of passes in between the stanchions, see if I see anything on here. I already see some fish activity, so that might be, that might bode well. We're gonna use a flare hawk, and uh, yeah, we'll see, uh, we'll see if we can get anything with the GoPro. I just saw some stuff on the transducer, so we'll go through again. We'll see what we see. The plan is hopefully we can catch some monsters, turn this into one video, then we're gonna go fish over there so, towards that light, a bunch of mangroves when the sun comes up. So hopefully this will be a two-part video, or yeah, two-parter. But uh, you can see a bunch of fish, a bunch of stuff in the column. The water is not clean, but uh, we did have a big storm come through here, so we'll have to see. So there's couple things in the water column we'll get our uh, we'll get our lines wet here in just a second all right we are on the board and it's a foul hooked ladyfish or a mullet. That looks like a mullet. Ugh. Normally, if I was fishing in the uh, Everglades, we'd cut this up for shark bait. Alright, ladyfish. I think it was a ladyfish. Looks like a ladyfish. Foul hooked. At least it caught something. All right, well, I've been out here for about, uh, it's 5.15, I think, so a little over an hour. And uh, I haven't had any bites, tons of mullet. I, I mean, I just caught that ladyfish, but it was foul hooked. They're not going after what I have. As you can see, kind of back there, the sun's coming up. So we are gonna do one more pass and then we're gonna go and fish the mangroves for first light, hopefully catch some trout, do some trout tacos for dinner. Fingers crossed. All right, last cast, and then we're moving spots. Why is it always when you say last cast, do you catch something? Ooh, that looks like a trout. Exactly what I wanted to catch. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a nice one too. Nice trout. Nice 17 and three quarter inch trout. That will be dinner. You can't even see my face. That's the way I like it. Gotta stay covered out on the water. It's like 10 after eight, I'm done. Uh, I wanted to test out the drive. I wanted to catch a couple fish, see if we could catch any monsters under the bridge, but we didn't. So we're gonna head home, fillet this guy up, and it's trout tacos tonight. That's not going anywhere. There, there she is. Try not to uh, spill this fish water here. Beautiful trout. Would have liked to have had two, like I mentioned. Hopefully we can get a pound, about a pound of meat off of this. It feels like it's a pound, at least a pound. So we'll see. Um, I'm not gonna fillet it on camera. So by the power vested in me, by the state of Florida, 
filleted. It didn't yield as much meat as I had hoped, but I did an okay job. There's still some meat on there, but I was using this old kitchen knife because I could not find my fillet knife. So that one's not sharp and I butchered the meat, but that's all right. I haven't filleted a fish in a really long time. So I did the best that I could. We'll do better next time, I promise. Let me know down below how terrible this fillet job is. Anyway, it's taco time. Coleslaw, bag of coleslaw, tablespoon of sugar, tablespoon of vinegar, cup of mayo. Oh, super simple, a little crunchy. It will soften up and get, and some of the uh, liquid will leach out of the cabbage, but super simple. Avocado dill sauce. I got avocado, dill, got some sour cream, some salt and pepper, the juice of half a lemon, and some oil. No recipe, just came up with it. Mmm, that looks good. I definitely thought I was gonna get more fish than that, but so be it. Just a little salt and pepper on this, going in the pan. Fish done. Avocado dill spread, it's not even sauce, and then slaw. We'll start with some of this fish here. Trying to do this one-handed, not easy. Take some slaw next. some of this sauce spread whatever you want to call it that is a fish taco ish and here's my taste tester my teenage son who will eat just about anything go ahead Ryan dig okay. in Is that oh, good? Oh, Don't talk at your mouth full. <laughs> All, right. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Nothing beats fresh fish. You could really taste that dill. And it's really good. Do you taste? You probably don't even know what dill tastes like. You've already eaten half of it. Yeah, this, I'm hungry. I've been saving up to make this video. All right, that's gonna do it for this one. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next video.